Alka, how many years, how many winters, Hoke joyfully threw herself at the woman. The one they called Galka smiled. She too was glad to meet an old acquaintance. She hadn't seen her since the Institute. It must have been 25 years. More than 30, answered Galena. Well, tell me, how do you live? And this must be your granddaughter. Nadesta nodded her head at the girl spinning near her college friend. Daughter, and then, noticing the enlarged eyes of surprise Nadezhda commanded. So, Kadesha, go take a walk. There, the sandbox, play there. The women sat down on the bench, and Galena did not take her eyes off the little girl. How old was she when you gave birth to her? At more than 40. Yes, I did not give birth to her. I can't have children. After graduating from the institute, Galena began her story. She got a job in her specialty. After a while, she got married. My husband was just raving about having an heir, but we couldn't have a child. I did my best. I had examinations, treatments. I even went to some witches. Then a friend advised me to go to a distant monastery. They say there is some kind of miraculous icon. You could stand in front of it, cry, pray to it and ask for a baby, and everything would work out. Galena went to the very same icon, but it was a long way. She had to go by train for a day. How did it happen? But there was a thief in the carriage. I have to go out, but I find out that my bag and things are still there, but my wallet is gone. It was stolen. No money, no ticket back. Everything was in my wallet. What about the money? How was I supposed to get home? However, since I came to the monastery, it means that half of the job was done. So I fell down to the same icon, which I was told about crying and no longer for the baby, which I cannot give birth, but from resentment to myself on the damned thief. Surprisingly, there was no one in the church. Only in a church bench, some old woman sat. The Lena turned to her. She needed to buy a candle and she had not a penny. I see girl, it is not about that you are sad. My name is Sister Eugenia, and I'll give you a candle, you don't have to pay for it. Can you imagine, I was like a ladle of cold water, continued her story Galena. I think, how the old woman knows, that I come with one trouble, and I think about other problem, and that I have no money even for a candle. Mother Eugenia, without saying another word, gestured to the woman in the refectory. She poured a cup of soup shoved a piece of bread and sat down at the table opposite. While Galena ate, she was silent, and when she devoured the last piece and looked at her sister gratefully, she began to tell her story. How do you think I ended up in this monastery? All for the same reason that you are now. God gave me children, but he took them away right away. She and her husband gave birth to their first son, but he left them three days later and the doctors only put their hands together. Then we had a daughter. The little girl lived three months in this world, but no, God took her away too. Sister Eugenia looked at Galena without tearing off, and the latter only opened her mouth and listened. Then God sent three more to Eugenia, but they also became angels. At the most, my children survived up to a year, and then just like that, that was it. And what a time it was, Soviet times. No one had ever heard of monasteries or miraculous icons. Only once I had a dream. A woman in white clothes told me not to even think about having a child of my own. Your destiny is different, she told me. It was many years later that I realized what my purpose was. And before that I divorced my husband, ate myself to death, felt guilty that I didn't give him a life and didn't really live one myself. And only now I understand that it was the Virgin Mary who appeared to me in my dreams and guided me to the right path. And now I'm here. And what is your mission? Galena asked me quietly. To guide lost souls like you on the way of truth. Go home. You won't have a child. It's all useless. You are destined for something else. Sister Eugenia gave Galena the sum necessary for the journey home, gave her the last cross and sent her home. After that I lived more than 10 years. By the way, my husband left me too. And I kept thinking, what was my predestination in life? And only recently I realized what it was. 
What was it? Nadeshda asked, fascinated by the story. That's my destiny, to play in a sandbox. Kalina laughed. So you have told that you cannot have children and your sister Eugenia has confirmed it to you. And I cannot. Only a daughter I have anyway. Four years ago, Galina's cousin had an accident, a house fire. Her mother pushed her daughter out the window, but they were trapped inside. The roof collapsed in the fire. Their daughter Katya turned out to be of no use to anyone. They wanted to take her to a maternity home. When I heard about the tragedy and orphan Katya, I immediately understood what destiny fate had prepared for me. Only one thing hurt that everyone takes me for Kajia's grandmother. Galina laughed out loud, and Nadeshda looked at her friend and was surprised. How could she think that the woman was a grandmother? She was still young. Her eyes sparkled with laughter and even her wrinkles had disappeared. Only one thing I dreamed that God measured me longer in life. I still have Kadishved to raise and put on his feet. But I think that since he gave her to me, he will also send me strength to raise her. I still have a purpose on this earth. Subscribe to our channel not to miss new interesting life stories. Give us your likes, write your opinion in the comments.